Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the Great War Redux mod, which we're playing as a Sodom of Bulgaria. Right now, we've got quite a few comments to go through, but more importantly, some research to conduct. Let's get some Mountaineers, just because Mountaineers are probably going to be a good thing to get. We're going to try to get and encircle these guys over here. I'm pulling off my cavalry currently to make sure that we can actually get over there and do a good job. It looks like we're struggling a little bit with the infantry. That's okay. Three, two, let's go ahead and enter. And have you guys get over here as well. Do we have any upgrades for Ivan Kolov? Not really. And you know what? It's dangerous, but I'm going to force the attack. Let the horses take care of it because they are 20 combat width. The infantry, I think, are only... Okay, they're 12 combat width. That's not too bad. It could be better, though. could be better. Yeah, a lot of the infantry is not doing so well. We went down mass assault doctrine, which is not bad. Not great, but not bad. Oh, come on. Don't let them throw more soldiers in there. Throw those guys out. There you go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, horses. Come on, horsey boys. Force it, force it, for Oh, come on, stop, stop funneling soldiers back in here, you pieces of garbage. Come on, come on, come on. 98. Go, 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 go. Oh, we got it. Oh, we did it, boys and girls. Well, I don't know how many girls are actually watching. But, dudes, and maybe a girl. There we go, we got him. Now we got four divisions. Oh, my. Oh, Serbia. Please. Please, Serbia, no. We're lacking guns. That's not bueno. Actually, that's Greek now, huh? Gemilzin. Hum. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, it's smart to attack that tile. Yeah, that would be better so they have absolutely no victory points over here, but... Oh, man. Let's go and do some more of this tank designer stuff. That'd be fine with me. Yeah, raising this as a level would not be very smart. Come on. Just one more assault. One more assault, guys, please. Oh, we almost got him. Victory point. Mexico is fighting Mexico, and that's... Okay. Now, we did last time we wanted to take out this area, but it, it's just a little bit too thick for now. Let's do some artillery efforts. Support artillery bonus. Don't mind us. We're having a good old time here. That's a lot of, ar lot of army XP. How many men have we lost? 16,000? Eh, that's about what I expected. We've killed off 42,000. Oh, they're actually attacking us. Alright. Nice. Yeah, attacking here, four divisions. Uh, guys, S Serbia, please. Oh, they're actually attacking Montenegro as well. Then, oh! Hello! Oh, look at this! Nice! They actually wipe peace out. The Treaty of London. The Balkan League took advantage of the weakness of the Ottomans and forced them to concede some territories. It's a victory for the Balkan League and maybe the end of the Ottoman Empire. The Balkan League is victorious. Let's go ahead and do this because... <clears throat> we might have, let's see, a couple things going on here. Very soon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now, just in case, I don't trust them auto boys. So, yeah, this is not going to be very good. I'm going to go ahead and pull these guys early. Uh, yeah. Regarding training, don't worry about it. Mm. Nice. How strong are these guys? Because they were look, looking like they were lacking a little bit. No, they got a lot of manpower. pre war artillery is going to be very nice. Let's go ahead and grab some mountaineers like we did already. And this stuff would be nice. Uh, armored cards we're working on already. 1913, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. Hmm. hmm. Maybe resource extraction gain. That's not bad. It's just not great. 1914. Oh, mass mobilization or front organization. So there was a lot of comments yesterday saying that we should definitely go over the left side because we're going to need this manpower. And I completely agree. Large scale breakthrough. Less supply consumption, better reinforce rate, we get less attrition and more population, get some more recovery rate, and soft attack for cavalry, plus, plus 25% is not bad. Centralized control, more organization for infantry, mechanized and motorized, so hopefully that we don't regret this one. We've got a quarter million manpower, and for the love of God, I hope we can hold out. Er oh boy. You know, hold, let you guys spread out where you need to go, get some entrenchment, seriously dig in right now, holy crap. We have an okay amount of support equipment. We need way more artillery pieces. We need way more, well, of a lot of things. Is there anything here I could throw? Uh, that requires a little bit more guns, actually, that we don't have. That actually give us 60 more defense. Slightly more breakthrough, slightly more soft attack, but... I'm thinking I like recon maybe a little bit better. I need motorized for field hospitals, and we can't afford that. You'd actually... You'd still get a little bit more defense... A little bit more breakthrough, more hard attack, more soft, barely some more soft attack, better recovery rate base, barely though. More HP, we'd have enough for 35, you know, I'm going to go with recon. I think that might be really good on defense. Just have enough recon for us. And we still have a, we just had barely enough support equipment to actually feel that. So, that's not bad. 
Oh, this is looking not great. Yeah, if the auto uh, auto dudes come back in, oh, it's not good. I'm I'm tempted to lower this to t by you know ten. Mexican Mexican Federation is gone. I just hope we got a few more factories to work with. Oh, we need some motorized as well. It's fine. Get some planes as well eventually after all that stuff. Man, I could do some more military factories. Armored cars are nice. I mean, it's not even manpower, just factories. Ooh, let's, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and grab this. Yeah, uh, we need a little bit more of that probably. And we're already on total mobilization too, wow. So after this, thieving allies, probably. We're entitled to the largest share of the spoil. The Serbs do not see the things this way and refuse to vacate any of the territories they'd seized in the North Ma northern Macedonia. We will have to take it by force. We leave the Balkan League, which might not be a good idea, but hey, you know what? That's okay. Do we get any more resources? We got a little bit of chromium. That's not bad. Leave faction? I mean, we'll probably do that anyways, but you know, that's just me. The uh, oh, oh, that's, that's not too bad. Alright, thieving allies, we left, and then war with Serbia. The best defense is a good offense. A surprise attack on Serbia is the best option in the current state. Ooh, the bulk of Prussia. I like this one too, but... Mm, persecution of the Turks. After the defeat of the Ottomans, a huge part of the, or the Turkish population in the Balkans was left without protection. The Balkan estates remain irrecon irreconcilable with the Turks, and therefore that enmity caused a wave of anti-Turkish pogroms, repression, and persecution. Events in the Balkans provoked a huge migration crisis, which did not end soon. The world is... Changing rapidly. Militarism is nice. Agrarian economy is kind of nice. Return territory. <laughs> we just return Eastern Thrace to them. Yeah, I, mean, I guess we could, technically. Do we have anything else special? Sometimes you just want to check this area because it might give you more stuff. Martial order. Martial law, not order. Law. Ooh, I like this. We could probably definitely use that. It's not that head time. I could really use that, but. Mm. Field hospitals would be good too. I already threw on recon, so getting more recon might be okay. Uh, I'm gonna go and grab this one. Even more output. We need more output. We have less than oh my gosh, five thousand gunnerinos. How many do we need now? That's not bad. Artillery is looking a little better. Support equipment is surprisingly doing relatively okay. We only have one factory on it. Yeah, doing a sneak attack on these guys is it would be suicide. Like holy cow. Oh, this is not gonna look good. You know, even if we lose, I think that'd still be okay. Just because we'll be able to go back to war with them later on. But I can't fight one, two, three, four. So, claim our apple territories. We're not happy with the results of the Balkan War. Despite being promised large amounts of territory, the other members of the Balkan League turned out to be completely unwilling to give up our claims in Macedonia. In response, we shall begin an invasion and surprise attack for graded for graded Bulgaria. I hope this goes well, the Balkan Prussia. Now they attack us with a lot of ferocity. I hope the Turks don't come back and bite us in the butt. The Second Balkan War. Oh, crap. Here we go again. I'm only going to send in one. These guys might actually be able to hold out. Like, oh, these guys won't be able to. Um, I'm going to send you over here then. If that's the case, I'm going to... Can we build up... Ooh, trenches, maybe? Maybe I should have built up a few trenches beforehand. There you go. And Romania wants to go to war with us as well. Well, I guess not. Yeah, I don't think there's really anything that we could do. Hmm. So I will be right back and maybe see we see if we can do anything about this. All right, everyone. So I'll see if I looked and see or saw, or try to see if there's any way I could prevent us from losing the war. I just don't think there is. I mean, we're holding against these guys in the north. The cavalry can only do so much. You just don't have enough divisions. Um, so, kind of sucks, but we basically have to lose this war. Really, really sucks, actually. But let's go ahead. You know what? No oh, entrenchment. I'm going to go with Ambusher. Digging even harder. Yeah, I mean, at this point, there's nothing we can do. Ooh, do not get encircled there, boys. That would be quite bad. <laughs> quite not good. Yeah, I mean, they're just coming through. There's nothing we can really do. It really sucks. But this only increases our fervor against these folks right now. So, go and hold. Just dig in. Oh, we're going to lose the cavalry division. We got the bulk of Prussia, though. Armor effect. Uh, expand the BDZ. Sounds like a good idea. National catastrophe. Macedonia has to be owned by this. 
So we will have this, which means, unfortunately, we cannot go down this way because, well, that's quite literally impossible. However, if we were playing it on his a historical, then we probably could, but we can't. So we'll probably have to go down the first uh, national catastrophe, and actually, you know, we can maybe still go down that way. Yeah, maybe. We'll see what happens. Actually, I actually have some little bit of hope, but regardless, expand the BDZ. Yeah, that sucks. We're going to have to lose this division. That really sucks. First slide across the Mediterranean. Aviators continue to amaze the world. Very good. We've lost 17,000. We've caused more than double our casualties. Oh my gosh. They almost completely... Oh, that's not good. But, oh, we don't even own the BDZ anymore. Okay, then. Well, yeah, let's go with Mountaineers, then. Mountaineers are good, right? Very good stuff. War bonds. Ooh. Offer surrender to League. 20% surrender profits, huh? I'm going to take that, because that seems pretty good. So, you know what? Just go ahead and retreat. We don't want to lose too many... Can we not retreat, guys? Big sadness. Oh, don't... Oh, we're going to get encircled completely. Okay, so at this point, when the Great War actually starts, I'm going to make sure I will completely destroy Greece, Romania, and Serbia. Because, well, as you can see, we're not doing so well, but I refuse to lose Serbia. Or, Sofia, Serbia. Sofia. Sofia must not be lost. And they're destroying our cavalry. Wow. Yeah, so this will definitely put us in a... Wow, they're not... Oh, they're looking okay. Well, yeah, this is not good. How have we not lost more than 20% of... Actually, you know what? Let's lose... Vlog? Go and lose that, and if we lose this, then they might actually... We might surrender that way. Um... Here we go. Here we go. And... Okay. Cool. So, at this point, I am going to wreck these people so hard in the Great War. We did lose a cavalry division, but we did cause so many casualties that... I feel pretty good about it. Treaty of Bucharest, peace at last, the treaty has concluded in the aftermath of the Second Balkan War, and amended the First Treaty of London, which ended the First Balkan War. About one month later, the Bulgarians signed a separate border treaty with the Ottomans, who had regained some territory west of the Enos Media line during the Second War. Oh, they've pissed off the wrong person now. I'm going to make sure that they will literally not live in t to see the next world war. Hmm. I don't like losing wars, man. I don't, no one does. But, oh, these are such greedy people. Such greedy people. Yeah. You know, Austria... I, I like you, Austria. Aftermath, this is a catastrophe. Oh, yeah. That, oh, good lord, that sucks. Less recovery rate, less war support, trading time. Ooh, daily democracy and socialism support. I get more monthly population, but we lose factories and weekly stability for 200 days. No, thank you. Okay, I'm ready to join the, um, the faction now. Please, thank you. <laughs> that really sucks. Oh, well. Well, do we get... Oh, we have nowhere to build, but... Mm. Who needs a navy? At least we still got access to the Mediterranean. That's kind of nice. We got so much political power now. What do we do with it? We can trade you out for something else, maybe. Trade your opinion factor. Uh, let's go with fighter stuff. Why not? And might as well, right? Oh, that hurts. That hurts. Coup in the Ottoman Empire. Militarists crave revenge. Oh, you want revenge, huh, son? Oh, I, I want revenge. How dare they steal rightful Bulgarian territory. So we got that. That's good. Let's go and grab some... We got some output going on. Let's see if we can grab some cap, maybe? Construction speed. Construction speed, most definitely. Alright. So, this was the soldiers, they did their best. And actually, I made these guys 10 combat width, just to see if we can make them any better. But, I'm making them back to 10, 12, 12 combat width. Actually, I'm going to make them 14 combat width. Because we're going to have at least 20 combat width divisions. Because you're going to need some, some real thick guys on the line. Alright, we did lose the cavalry, but that's okay. Hmm. Mountaineers, huh? Not oh, mountaineers. I made these guys a little thicker. You know what? I'm just gonna make these guys 40 combat with. Because we're gonna need them to be thick. Thick and heavy. And where we're going, we're gonna get a lot of army XP. Yeah, early stages Bulgaria just can't. They can't do anything. Especially attack, being attacked on all sides. How dare you! And artillery, some... Ooh, recon armored cars would be nice, but we can't afford that. That's yeah, right, that stuff. Cool. I'm going to convert one of these guys over. Doesn't really matter who. I'm going to convert one of these guys, though. Thank you. We don't have enough equipment, but that's okay. Armor effect, the first national catastrophe. We were unable to defeat our enemies and lost too much. And Ferdinand's rule. 
uh, Ferdinand's abdication. Well, I do want to go to Byzantium, and that gives us a lot of fervor to do a lot of stuff down here. Democracy and socialism, huh? The National Assembly, cool. Ottoman state, restore Byzantium, suppress opposition, secure German loan. Well, let's go with Ferdinand's rule. Ferdinand is a genius of politics, playing the great powers against each other for almost 20 years, and earning him the moniker Foxy Ferdinand. At the same time, he plays arbiter to his country's parliament and essentially does as he pleases, despite being merely a constitutional monarch. Cool. Yeah. Revanchism, that would actually be pretty good to do, but I think with this one, I think it would be okay. Claim Sargrad, and we can still join the Central Powers. Which is kind of at odds with what we want to do if the Ottomans join them too, so. Demobilize our economy. We are on total mobilization. I'm going to keep it on for as long as we can, realistically. If we don't do that, we get strikes. Yeah, it's, it, we have to probably demobilize. Yeah, that's, that's too much for us to deal with. Oh, better forts. Let's get some more tools. That'd be good. That'd be very good, actually. Got a, quite a few guys around here, but just not, just not enough. It's just not enough. Gotta build, 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 build. And improved working conditions only gives us 2% more stability. That wouldn't be worth it. That really wouldn't institute press censorship. Hmm. No, screw it. We'll do it anyways, because we can. <clears throat> oh, wait, we can't do that one? Oh, we can't do that because we need that one. Oh, that sucks. National Guard units? I mean, now we can get that? What the heck? I wanted to go down this way. We need a massive... So basically, we had to win to do that. Well, that sucks. Mm, I'm still probably going to join the Central Powers. Yeah, I mean, we could wait till World War One is over and then do that, but... I'm not going to wait that long. Yeah. That's so that's so dumb. Why is it locked beyond, behind this? Why? Like, why do we have to have this like this one to win? Hmm. Well, curbed ambitions. Ferdinand's own overly ambitious actions led to his country's catastrophe. It must not happen again. Well, I apologize about that. I really want to go down that one way, but obviously it can't happen. At least for this campaign. Maybe again someday, but only on a historical will, that, will we do that. But yeah, I'm going to make sure Serbia is going to die. Holy crap. As well as the Greeks. The Greeks, the Serbs, Romanians, and Ottomans. Ooh, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, that sucks. This really sucks. Now, this doesn't hurt stability too much. Refugee cry. Oh, actually, never mind. That does hurt stability. Uh, why do you hurt me so much? Balkan brush is nice. Still get 1.78 political power. You know what? We might as well start doing that. But that costs factories. I don't like that. I, I prefer the old world blue system where it just costs caps. That's so much nicer. But I sort of just realized it's 1914. Hope you guys are having a great year. Hopefully nothing bad happens, especially in Austria-Hungary. To Chonka Tactics, nice. Hopefully nothing bad happens in Austria, and where we will probably end up going to war and trying to thrash the living hell out of these goddamn Serbs. Oh, Alexander the First. You might have a big population right now. But they are not going to live through the next war. I swear to God. Mm -mm. Romania, that goes double for you. And triple for Greece. And quadruple for the Ottomans. But then again, the Ottomans will probably be our allies for a while. It's going to be very weird. Until after the war. Hopefully we win. Hopefully. What's uh, Germany up to? Curved ambitions. Eastern expansion. Reunification. Or Russification of non-titular nations. And Poincare. Oh, cool. Suppress opposition. Various political groups such as the BZ and S and Radical Democratic Party did... Do not support a government, and, need to be, and we need to put them down. That more stability, that's nice. <clears throat> 70 day focuses, man. Jesus Christ. Why? All weather, it's not bad. I mean, mm, yeah, 9,100 guns. I'm gonna buy one more thing of this. We need to. God, we need so much more stuff. We can only make 20, roughly 26 guns a day. Oh, machine tools, not bad. Not bad. 1914, let's make some better guns as well. And actually, uh, we have some of the trench lines still here. Construction 2 is not bad. Oh, we lost that area too. Gosh darn it. I forgot about that. <clears throat> Entrenchment's good. Well, we could maybe use more military police. Let's grab some more of this though. Max factories. Ooh, max factories in the state would be pretty good too. Uh, 
Oh wait, and do we have to demobilize? We got we got quite a few days, so that would be fine. Wait, do we already get strikes? Oh, we did. God dang it. Just go and do that, then. Get rid of those stupid strikers. And that even hurts us. Technically, that hurt us even more by beating the strikes. But now it's actually better. Ugh, big sadness. Big sadness. First national catastrophe. Hmm. Does Greece have a unique focus tree in this one? Airfield expansion. He's got a mustache. That guy did. No, they do not. And the Serbs tractors, huh? They kind of do, actually. Oh. Oh, Serbia. Come on, keep building. It's going to take so long to build everything. I forget. What year, historically, did Bulgaria enter the war as soon as possible? World War One. Bulgaria. Sorry, I'm actually looking it up right now. Suppress the opposition, that's good. And then we shall do... Secure French loan. Stabilize our economy. We're going to get a German loan. <clears throat> the most important task in our foreign policy right now is to secure a loan that can provide the funds needed to pay the financial costs of the Balkan Wars. We usually obtain loans for France, but conditions for a new one are unacceptable. <clears throat> if they're unacceptable. We will now, of course, have to open negotiations with the German Discanto Gesellschaft Bank. This one says two civilian off-map civilian uh, factories. Uh, I'm, I prefer the military factory right now. We can't do anything with that other stuff, so... I mean, two other civilian fact workshops, that'd be nice, but I need a factory right now, so. Okay, so, the Kingdom of Bulgaria, I guess, not, or really the Tsardom, of Bulgaria participated in World War One on the side of the Central Powers, and entered on October 14th, 1950. Cool. So we've got some time to be historical. So we're going to watch the world burn a little bit. If anything, I want to give some volunteers to some people to make sure that they do okay. Industrial complex construction seems like a good idea. <clears throat> Quarter million manpower. Okay, so I was expecting World War One. Oh, there goes Franz Ferdinand. He's dead. And China is now killing China. Even though I thought we saw China kill China last time. Wow, you got some ro some clothes on. Mobilization throughout Europe. KMT under Sun Yat-sen. Wait, what happened to him last time? Oh wait, this is China. And then they have the KMT. Does this KMT get put down? Maybe, maybe not. Please don't get rid of this guy, Yuan Shikai. So yet send you cool and all, but this guy, I want this guy to win. U.S. Declaration of Neutrality. Some better guns, which we're not going to make yet because we just can't afford to do that right now. Some better artillery as well. That'd be good. But we have a deficit of about 5,700 guns. So we've got to fix that first before anything else. <clears throat> yeah, it's going to suck. We make about 34 guns a day. That's not bad. Server refused Austrian demands, and here we go. Can I send... Oh, uh, we have more than 30 divisions. I'm not allowed to send volunteer forces. Well, that sucks. The Yard is assassination. Tough luck for him. All right, then. Well, the world's at war. How, wh why can't we send volunteers? I want to send volunteers. Belgium joined the Entente. Well, good luck, guys. We're all going to need it. Oh yeah, they saw an um, Assess Lorraine. That's nice. Ay ay ay. Secure German loan. Well, we could use that now. National Guard unit stabilizer economy. Eh, that's not bad. Bulgarian revanchism. Yeah, I was going to do that one. We're done looking at wounds. It's time to get back what is rightfully ours. Pretty much. <clears throat> Pretty much. Another seventy-day focus. Good lord. That pains me so much. Now I hope you die, Serbia. I really hope you die. Actually, we can manually justify on them. Ooh, actually, we're going to do this just so that we always have a claim on them. And we can do the same thing with these guys, too, right? Under five days. Actually, we do it on all of them. Opening the Panama Canal. Amazing construction. We're still mobilizing a little bit more, which is nice. But actually, that's going to be a lot of manpower. Oh, we got rid of the civilian factory. You know what? I want to build trenches first. At least a level one trench everywhere, because obviously we don't have enough soldiers if we join the central powers. Oof. Let's see. Oh, they're pushing into Russia. Oh, yeah, they definitely are. But at what cost? That's a real question. Looking good there. It wouldn't be worth getting this up, though. One, two, three. Once oh, Romania joins the war, that's not going to be very good. Oh, man, let's take a look. How's the war going? German Egyptian War. The Austro Hungarian Russian War. 47, 50,000. Oh, it's, it's relatively equal in terms of casualties so far. Can you imagine in the first few months, you're one of the casualties? That really sucks. Or just being a casualty, period. That really sucks, too. 
Yeah, Ger the Germans, Central Powers. Not looking so good right now. Now they stopped attacking. That'd probably be, be, be better. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and grab more recon. And then maybe some more military police. We're lacking some artillery. We're lacking quite a few lust guns. Motorized is looking better as well. Nice, nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh, AI, please don't attack all crazy like. They're doing well against the Russians. If they can knock out Russia, which is this is unhistorical, that'd be really good, especially against Romanians. Kingdom of Serbia. Man. How much manpower are they? Oh, they've got plenty. They got some. They're only on limited conscription. Germany is unlimited with about a million. You guys have about a million. And the UKs are just kind of like <laughs> with volunteer only still, but hey. Kind of makes sense for them. Uh, improve work, uh, let's go and improve work. Yeah, I want stability. Stability for the people. Keep making these things, guys. You're doing a great job with them. Battle of Kolobata, huh? Enemies have proven they're equal. Well, <laughs> you're only fighting one front. Austria's fighting on two fronts. So, I don't know, man. Besides, Austrian military isn't that great. Let's be real. Like, what, what, 11 different languages there or something? And yeah, let's take a look at Russia's manpower. Mm, that's, that's about as, what I expected. About what I expected, you know. But I knew what anyone expects. Okay, so we got a week left for that in Industrial Complex Zone. King Carol I died. Long live King Ferdinand. The incorrect Ferdinand, some might say. Engineering? Uh, any more research speed stuff? Yes. Oh, we can research the first thing by doing this. Good. We're going to need that. We're definitely going to need that. Looking much better on guns, minus 3,000. Luxembourg is gone, good job, Germany. <laughs> we could justify on you, but we're not going to. Actually, Serbia, how much longer will this take? Quite a while. Nice, we got rid of that garbage effect. Do you want the Central Powers? We could. We get a claim on North and South, the Bruges, da. We're going to stabilize the economy, so we're a little bit more output. With a secured loan, we can stabilize the economy from the downfall it had after the defeat in the Balkan Wars. Not a bad thing. Alright, so now we spent some time refitting our soldiers with more equipment. And actually, even the mountaineers are not looking too bad. They're just made, waiting for support equipment and more artillery. So that's why I put these guys here. They're going to be really quite good. <clears throat> now, I don't mind allying with the Central Powers and Ottomans as long as we can beat these guys up. And this way, once we beat the Romanians and the Serbs, I think that would be pretty good. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to split this army into different chunks. So... Because we need more fronts. Or we'll have too many fronts. You guys go there, and then you guys go right there. So you 10, you remain where you're at. You 11, come up to Romania. And you 8, come down here to Greece. Which actually should be enough, because there's hills and mountains and stuff like that. So that's not too bad. This way we can use our remaining 3 cavalry divisions to plug up any holes that we may or may not have around here. Uh, I'm just going to have you guys... Stay in like Sofia, stay in the mountain area just in case. That'll be good. My almost 2,000 gun deficit, not bad. What's it costing us to get more artillery loss? Or what's going on with artillery? Not really sure. Oh, Germany's pushing in a little bit. That's nice. I can imagine this, this is not going to be good. Oh, wow. That's a lot compared to what's going on over there. Jesus Christ, guys. You don't have that much to show for it either. Holy cow. It's a lot of dead. It's already. Okay, good. That's done. All right, Romania, you're next. 70 days. And this should never expire, right? Good. Good. Austria, please don't just... Why are you focusing on the Kriegsmarine now? Oh, no, no. Hey, you have less manpower than these guys. I mean, yeah, they're on extensive conscription, but still. Yeah, we'll probably have to call the cavalry down here, but that's why I have the cavalry to do this, because they're pretty quick. You guys go right there. You don't need that. Yeah, that, I'm worried about that one. Over here, these guys are going to overlap, which is totally fine with me, so. Todor? We're, we're, we're going to go scavenger. We're going to need scavenger. Oh, they're actually getting pushed in. That's not good. Anyone have upgrades? Ivan. Charismatic, reinforce rate. Yeah, we're going to need you to cover as fast as possible. Hopefully, Germany... Can't beat the Russians. The KMT's gone? Oh, that's good. 
Channel 1. Even the Russians are coming in harder and harder. Oh, they're pushing through here, but... Please don't tell me they're attacking this way. Please don't tell me they're attacking over river. Ah, uh, Austria's doing the exact same thing. Okay, so... Hmm. Now, when are the Ottomans coming to the war? That's a good question to ask. Ottoman Empire. WW Uno. Save us our economy. After that, we'll, we'll probably join the Central Powers. Actually, no, let's get the National Guards units. The National Guard is a successor to the personal guard of Prince Alexander I, established in 19, 1979. Initially, the duties of the Special Guard Service consists of escorting the head of state, his family, and all senior guests. We can reform it into an elite division. You mean 1879, or...? Huh. Let's go and grab that. That'd be fine. Cool. Stabilize the economy. A little bit more output, which is always going to be very, very welcome. Hey, we've got an, a positive amount of motorized. That's not bad, right? Does anyone need a train? Not really, no. no. Except maybe one guy, the new guy. New guy's got a train. So, if you didn't know, historically, the Ottoman Empire actually went to war in 1914. It's now 1915. The, the Ottoman Empire launched a surprise attack on Russia's Black Sea coast on October 29th. And then Russia declared war on them on November 5th. Okay. Well, this is not very historical then if they're not at war with anybody. Are, are they at war with them? No, they're not. What? Are you... Um... Did they... Why are you not at war with these guys yet? Why did you not open up a new front yet? That's not making any sense. Luxembourg is looking good, though. Yes, we do question Romania, but still. Oh, okay, well, we just... We did question Romanian sovereignty, but still. Actually... I'm thinking, what if we just go to war with Romania? They're independent, right? Not even Greece is in their lines. You know, what if we just go to war with Romania? Just us and them. Two Balkan states killing each other? Maybe it's not a bad idea. You know, I'm going to go to war. What, uh, well, maybe, maybe we shouldn't try it when we're still training. But maybe we'll try that. No. <clears throat> I should say no outside factions. Just us two. Let's try it. Yeah, come and try to kill me off. Let's see what happens, you pieces of garbage. You like my land? Well, I'd like to take your life then. No, hopefully they don't join a faction. They've lost 88 guys, we've lost none. Oh! Afghanistan and the Sultanate of Egypt? Buddies! Buddies! Not a bad idea. Now, eventually these guys will join the war, but whatever. We're gonna do that. Might as well, we got so much political power. Chief of the Navy, decisive battle. Decisive battle it is. Air Force, all weather specialists. And we've got all the ministers we've ever would have wanted. Nice. Tachanka Tactics, very good. And we shall do centralized control. More organization. See what happens with these guys. Alright, we've got to bait them into attacking once again. We've lost 500, they've lost 6,000. 7,000, not enough. <clears throat> Not bad, not bad. Up to 37 divisions. Mm, what if we did that? Come on, AI. And they join the Central Powers, which is fine. I don't really care. Oh, there they go. They're doing it again. Just gotta give them some time. Romania's gonna be special. Very special. Germany is doing relatively okay. I mean, Austria is... Austria? <sighs> yes. How much manpower do they have, actually? Let's see. 1036. They're on limited conscription. So, we'll see. So, if they're on limited conscription now, then we'll see what happens soon enough. And we've just lost about 1,000 versus, well, 13,000. Not bad. We cancel only what? Hey, oh, Ottomans. Ottomans. You, you don't join the war just to lose. At least I don't. Well, then again, I did start the other war where we did lose some territory, so go figure. All right, let's go over here. Thank you. We do need some more artillery, which is actually the most the thing we're lacking the most. National Guard divisions or units, good. 
Join the Central Pirates. You know what? We're not going to do that yet. Let's go spend the BDZ once again. Let's attempt to. Cool. Oh, you're looking pretty fierce. Pretty nice. Oh, yes, please. Hmm. I guess we want to do with the Ottomans on our border. That'd be nice. All right, so this will be the 20 combat with division that we want to make. If we got hospitals, support artillery, that'd be great, great, great. So now we're just lacking more artillery, which is quite not good. There you go. Just going to do this anyways, because you can. And we'll lower this by one. Good lord, we need more steel. Why does steel cost so much? Can't, you know, I can actually just trade political power or factories for away for stuff, but apparently you can't. Which is dumb. There you go. Attacking us again. We'd lose some more support if we did this. But we could probably we should probably get this now. Thirteen thousand losses still. And actually who's a general up here? Uh you probably need some help up here, don't you? Yvonne, of course. But Yvonne. <laughs> Yvonne and Yvonne. Let's go with ambusher. No, I'm gonna go with infantry attack. I like the entrenchment and such, but we're going to need more help on attacking, so. Most definitely. 20,000? That's not enough. Come on, do it again, Romania. Come on. Prove to me that you're strong. That you're so strong. Actually, how's it going over here? Not bad, not bad. We're going to war with Greece as well. We're going to just find these guys too, just in case. 90 days, not great, but hey, whatever. Still mobilizing more, don't mind if we do. So this is this Yvonne. Become an organizer. Maybe a bit of a cavalry leader as well. As well as a ranger, so that's not bad. And how is this Yvonne doing? So many Yvonnes. I'm going to grab this one just because we're going to need as much attack as possible. Defense isn't bad. So we got Yvonne, Nikolai, Yvonne, Yvonne, and Todor. Amplification modulations, cool. Central range finding, that's alright. Not really interested in that stuff. Fuel gain would be probably pretty good to do. Artillery. It's 1915. It says this is a little bit ahead of time, which I don't understand why, but, you know, whatever. Armored cars, here we go. <clears throat> you know, what if I took out Romania early on and then puppeted them? It's not a bad idea. Yeah, we, we could have them as a puppet under us, and then we could use their manpower. Oh, God, the Austrians are so bad. This is... Is this historical? Like, how do they invade West Banat? I mean, this makes more sense over here with probably like a Brusilov offensive, probably. Then again, Sandy Slavs right there, Lviv, the view. Hmm. Warsaw, I mean, Germany is doing pretty well, but it's costing uh, probably a lot of men. Just buttloads of men. Military police is nice to get, though. And let's go ahead and grab some more defense. Very good. The Brusilov offensive, like I said, or maybe I said that. God protects the Russians. Oh, that's right there. Oh, Bukovina. Or Chernivtsi? I have no idea. Oh, look. These guys are already looking like pretty bad. Dervish state? A dervish state. Oh, oh, no. Look at these warmongers. Oh, look at that hair. Wow. I like that hair. Oh, look. And Ottomans. Okay, so you're coming back. You took cars. That's good. Oh, no. They're going to Armenia. Um. I have a feeling how oh, I know how, that, how that's going to end, but whatever. Some things never happened. Right? Alright, so they went up to extensive conscription, which is fine. They were baited to attacking again. Expand the DBZ, so we got more infrastructure. Good. Let's go ahead and grab another military factory. That's good. That's only one more. For 70 day focus, Jesus Christ, what the heck? What the heck? Now, what year did they get in? Did Romania get involved? I'm looking all this stuff up during the episode. Romania, World War One, WW Eins, Romania, not Romania, but Romania. During World War One, they entered in 1916. Okay, so they entered in 1916. So we got some time. That looks so bad. Why? Why, guys? Why'd you let them in? Here you go. Let them attack again. They lost only 48,000, and that's not enough. Now, if we were to attack, I'd probably attack Dabruja first, because that's a nice little defensive line to hold. 
I still have plenty enough manpower. They're still mobilizing, so I'm not too worried about that. Attack of the dead men. They are too angry to die. Huh. Cool. Oh, look. We're done building stuff? N never, 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 never. Good. Uh, make sure we build this stuff up, too, because some trenches will be important down there. Do we have an airbase here? We need an airbase, too, so... One, two, three, four... Because eventually we will have <clears throat> planes, but there's no guarantee when they will come out. Repair the Suez Canal. Why do we get that option? Come on, guys. Do it again. 54,000? I might just go to war with the Greeks. The Greece. Greece. Greeks as well. Can I do a two-front war? Can I really do a two-front war? Well, we're going to try a two-front war. Give me one of these cavalry divisions. That'll be fine. Two-front war it is. Now we can't get involved in the Great War yet. <clears throat> oh, Greeks. Yeah, they're, they're doing pretty well in terms of supply after we finished the little Balkan conflict with them. So, have I bit off more than I could chew? Maybe. But it is what must be done. I'm going to leave that, that 40, 40 combo with. We'll, def, we'll easily be able to hold out there. i let you guys get over here to help out. And, you know, send me another one of these cavalry divisions. We're only defending against 30... 26, 28 divisions? Wow. Quite a few guys, that's alright. Greece has got to die anyways, so... Let them waste their lives on the line. That'll be okay with us. 13, not bad. And they're attacking us up here. By the... Oh, Treaty of London. Ah, oh, yeah, it's Treaty of London. Nice. Now, without that, that division there, can they still win? Um... Well, let's see. Oh, I don't need you here, actually. I'm going to actually put you guys up here, then. There you go. You'll be fine. I'm expecting incredible Greek losses here. Like, extreme losses for the amount of attacks we're doing for this. So, we'll see what happens. Oh, yeah, those cavalry divisions are not looking too good, boy. Now, if it was up to me, I... Oh, man, they might be mobilizing more... But, just because you have men doesn't mean you have supplies. And we can't figure out how many supplies they have right now. So actually, let me know. What's a good name for the Secret Service of Bulgaria? Intelligence Service is cool, cool and all, but... We could do a little better than just Intelligence Service, right? <clears throat> no upgrades yet, that's fine. 8,000 losses, 66,000, not enough. Ah, another factory. Just one more factory. Nice. Cancel only. No! Grain exports. Let's do that one. Because we get minus 5% consumer goods, which is pretty nice. Trying to build an airport, which is good, 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 good. Go and help them out down there. Go right ahead. How, how strong is Greece? Let's get through one more focus before we might end the episode, too. At least one more. They're not that strong. They're already on service bar. Service bar requirement? Wow. Wowzers. They're probably running out of equipment, just like Romania first. You know, if, if you force my hand, so be it. But I'm going to come over here. Now, it's going to hurt our ability to defend against on the line, but whatever. Get another division. Throw them over there. Their every state. Those gosh darn British imperialists. Look what they do. Crushing the dreams of young men in Africa. Terrible. Need to be put down. Support weapons. Nice. Let's grab some of this. Infantry equipment. More soft attack. Don't mind if we do. Don't mind if we do. So what are we lacking? Artillery pieces. And support equipment, surprisingly. We have enough guns, just not enough artillery pieces or support equipment. It's very weird how things turned out. Not surprised they're not attacking, but that's alright. Alright, you guys. Let's go ahead and come to Dobrush at Constanta. You, you should... We should be able to win this one. We definitely should be able to do this. Are we losing around here? Maybe a little bit. Head on over here, guys. If you get one more division in there, they'll be able to hold, probably. Yep, I was right. I, we caused a lot of casualties over there. Nice. I forget, what year did they go to war here? Is that 
Romania. Let's go Romania. That's good. <clears throat> you guys can help out right there. As half you guys are moving up, but only some of you guys will be. There you go. And help out right there. And then you snake up to there. There you go. There you go. Put him back across the river. God dang, Serbia's doing well. Germany is slowly losing, which is not ideal. And, oh, they're fighting Austria, too. Oh, Italy. 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 Oh, fine, I'll retreat one of these guys. All right, here we go. Because that's, that's not looking good over there. It's fine. It's fine. We've got this under control. Good. Armored cars. Yeah, it's only 1915, so we got a little bit more time. Let's grab some of this. Definitely don't want to do that, but we kind of have to. And if we have to trade away for another steel... Oh, we have none delivered. Alright. <clears throat> hmm. Don't want to trade convoys. I want to make sure we get enough. No trade route can be found. Uh, the agitates against joining the Central Powers. Alexander Stambolisky, the leader of the BZNS and a notorious anti-monarchist, met with Ferdinand the first to protest the war effort. He agitates against joining Germany and led numerous protests in support of the Entente. Set him on trade. So here's the deal. You guys come up here and we're going to keep expanding up north, extend the line a little bit more so they attack us a little bit more. That'll be good. <clears throat> oh, look at that. They're looking so incredibly weak now. I'm sure they've lost over 100,000 realistically because some of these battles are just going on like crazy. If anything, we're going to do what? The tried and true method. Retreat and return. Get out of there. Get a little more organization. Get a few more supplies in there. You'll be feeling pretty good soon enough. Why are we still in this map mode? What the heck? Did it? Why did this? Where did I click on? Oh, Austria! The Ottoman Empire is looking pretty good, though. Compared to the rest of the Central Powers, unfortunately. Uh, go ahead and do that. Thank you. You know what? You guys just stay down here. Head on down. And you're coming back in. Now you re retreat and come back in. So many dead Greeks. So many. And you guys, well, force the attack. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to win. Extend their lines just a wee bit more. Grain exports, that's good. And development in Rumelia. Oh look at this! The Russians actually navally invaded. Wow. The Germans are still holding here pretty nicely, and the Soviets are not. Hum. 
The Greeks can't keep this up. There's no way. There's no way. With that much manpower, service by requirement. We're doing pretty well with this stuff, though. Good. Push them out. And then half you guys immediately go up north. Good. Kick them out. Kick their butts. Kick their little booties. Green, green, green. Oh, I said green. You're not allowed anything else other than green right now, so. Alright then. Head on over there. Oh, you better not leave. You cannot be allowed to leave. If that's the case, I'm going to add G. You guys are there. There we go. These guys are turning out to be more like special forces and such than anything else. Now, these guys are moving around, which is fine. The Greeks are dying like crazy. Definitely don't want to go to war with the Ottomans right now. Get some of that. That'd be good. Lowers our war support, but whatever. And actually, you can build in the Brugia. We need more factories. Can we buy steel from anybody? Not even from Spain can we buy, like... Or get enough from them. Russian Empire. I'll get one more steel. We need the steel. Wow. Eight. Actually, you leave and come back. You'll be fine doing that. You'll be more than fine. Oh, so our line's looking pretty thin here, you know. The weakest place to attack would be where they have two divisions. Which might be right here. Cavalry. And infantry. And some engineers. Ooh, that sucks. I got engineers. But this is literally the weakest part of the line. So, if we could break through here, that'd be the best thing to do. And come on back in when you're ready. Three, two. Yeah, that's looking pretty weak. We've lost about 20,000 versus over 100,000 dead Greeks already. Ah, oh, I'm sure there's a lot of Turks that like that, but whatever. You're not allowed to be defeated. <clears throat> Good. Yeah, I think the, that's uh, they still have too much manpower compared to what they should have actually, realistically. Okay, right here. I'm going to deploy you early. And hello. Which one is it? Is it these guys? Yeah, these these guys. Nice. There you go. Good luck. All right. So good luck to us too. Onwards and upwards. If we can get into here, then the war is pretty much over for the Romanians. Which, I don't know if we'll actually be able to win. Maybe, but it's looking pretty pretty dangerous over here. No, you guys gotta go back. That's that's very hard to hold. And you guys are headed back in. That's good. The battle for done. A massacre. Wait, ho why did we lose 2% war support for that? Nejd and Hasha? Hasha? Huh. Eighty-two, not looking too bad. Yeah, cool. One more focus, and then we'll call it an episode. How about that? Calvary looking a little weaker, but hey, that's all right with me. Get some more organization. You got enough organization. Any more upgrades for anybody? Not yet. No, that's fine. And that's totally okay. Should the 1916 Olympic Games be canceled? Well, maybe. If you'd like to read about that, go right ahead. But the committee wins gold and for foresight. Oh, now we're out of guns, too. Well, gosh darn it. Alright, better mountaineers. You might as well, it's almost 1916. We do have one division that actually is using mountaineers, so. Oh, Greece. Don't ever change. Actually, Romania has less soldiers than them. Eighty-five is not bad. If we force the attack, we could probably actually win there. Hmm. Oh, it is 1915, so, I mean, it is World War One, so trench warfare, what do you expect? Except for the Serbs. The Serbs are very, very aggressive. And the Greeks, at this point, I don't think the Greeks have enough infantry equipment to, to continue the fight. Oh, are you guys done? Do you, would you like to help support the attack? We actually haven't that, lost that much organization yet. Yeah, once it hits 93, 4, 5, I might do force the attack. Yeah, these guys are done. God, I wish I could see what they have. Actually, we can see. They're out of equipment. They have some support equipment. If we can capitulate the Greeks before the Romanians, that'd be kind of wild. <clears throat> 92. Okay, come on. Come on. Let's get this. Let's break over the river. If we break over the river, it's the end for Romania. And that'll be great for Austria, too. Now, this is going to hurt us. 
But Nicola, you should do okay. Development Romelia, and we shall do Sofia University St. Clement Oreditsky. The Sofia University version is a first higher educational institution in Bulgaria. Its history is an embodiment and a continuation of centuries of cultural and educational tradition in our country. And also, we can always join the Central Powers later on. So that's why I said no for now. We will join them later on, but right now, it's probably just not a smart thing for us to do. 93, come on, come on, guys. No upgrades yet. Let's see. He's learning quite a bit, which is nice. Yeah, the Greeks. Oh boy, not bad. Because once we get rid of Romania, we'll have a, we'll have, to have a border with Russia, of course. But then we'll also have a border with Serbia. But if we can take out the Greeks, that'll be pretty good. Now, obviously, trying to attack now would be a bad, 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 bad idea. Force the attack! Come on! Come on! Come on! We're so close. Ninety-six. We're still mobilizing a little bit more. 97. Every inch matters. Which, taken out of context. Hmm. Oh, are we losing that battle down there? Did one of our soldiers retreat or something? Maybe, maybe not. It's alright. You guys do this. You retreat and you come back. Alright, Persia joined the Entente. Okay then. That's not good for the Ottomans. Oh, they threw in more soldiers. They must have. Oh, yeah, they keep funneling soldiers in and out. That makes sense. Uh, next up, 1916. It's 1918. We can probably grab that one, too. That's not bad. It's okay. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, and this, this guy's a scavenger, which is good for us, too. Let's just keep throwing more guys in there. Come on. Almost a quarter million dead Greeks. Almost. My goodness. They really just... they The manpower isn't the issue. Oh, never mind. It is an issue. Oh, if we force the attack against the Greeks, and just, like, I started attacking them, we could probably actually hold out against us pretty darn well, but... Mm. Surprised these guys aren't attacking us, actually, a little bit. Let's go 16... Come on, come on, come on, come on. Before they get in there, come on. Get 98. That's good. Oh, I went back up in 95. That sucks. <sighs> 96. My goodness, these battles rage for days upon days and years. Okay, so maybe one more focus after this, and then we'll call an episode. So, because it's almost 50 minutes into this. Wow. Jesus Christ. Come on. The Greek guys. Come on. Your population isn't really that big. I mean, he has ours is great, and we can do we get more organization organization right now. Great, and let's finish our land auction with deep operations, which isn't going to help us at all until we get some tanks. Whew. Oh, and a research lot. Oh, oh, soon enough, soon enough. So that's good. We can't do women in the workforce yet. We need oh. Oh, we're actually going to lose some manpower then. It's fine, do that. We're going to demobilize just a little bit. Yeah, we're going to need to raise the conscription level up again, probably. You guys are actually like, hmm, maybe we should attack. Hmm. Maybe. Seriously? Again? How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? You guys can't actually help out, which sucks. Come on, come on, come on. You're at 98%. 98. 96. Gosh, darn it. Yeah, I think we'll be able to capitulate the Greeks much a little faster than anyone else, really. Because look how weak... Oh my goodness, they're so weak. They keep attacking each other. There's like no one left. Constantado War? Oh. And Brazil. Oh, Brazil's doing stuff, eh? Jesus Christ. Be more... Oh, oh, hold on. We've almost broken over the river. Oh, we were so close. So close. Oh, we are close. We won. Oh, we're, take, we're going for Bucharest. I'm taking half you guys. Go to Bucharest. We have veterans already in the army. Holy crudderinos. They're not moving. Nope. Nope. You help out. You begin attacking up here. Because you can. This way we can hopefully break through this little wall we have here. Take Bucharest. Take Bucharest. Then have you... Then take all but one. Go to Pleo City. And then go up there. And then go up there. Yes. Please. Nice. Oh, we got Bucharest. That's so good. Come on. One of you defenders start attacking here. Don't let them move. Do not let them move. We actually might win here too. Oh, we could capitulate Romania by the end of this episode. That'd be so good. Women in the workforce. 
That makes up for it. That's not bad. Yeah. Mountain Infantry 2. Great. 1916. More construction speed. Because like, because we can. Oh come on, that's stu that's so dumb. Oh, you're looking really good here now. How far is Romania? Is not that far from capitulating. At this point, I'm going to probably call these three divisions back up north. Oh, we actually went up there too. Nice. Help out right here then. Shore up the line. Make it a little smaller. Now we can't win right here, so there's no point attacking anymore. You? How about right here? Ploiesti? However you pronounce that? Yeah, I, I think I might try a general attack against the Greeks, because they're so weak. Can we actually, like, stand a win here? I mean, they might attack us again, but we'll see what happens first. Did we get one cavalry division up? Where's the uh, cavalry division? One, two, three. Oh. Nice. Very good. Armor effort? Very good. But we'll end the episode right there. I might play just a little bit off screen until the next focus date, but we'll see what happens. Regardless, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will capitulate the Romanians as well as the Greeks. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.